Hey guys, it's Rebecca Overstadt. I've been waiting for over half an hour for the air to kick off and it hasn't and I've done my entire face. Uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna record with the air on and sorry for the humming. Um, housekeeping first. Because I posted my video, I think it was Friday, uh, discussing brands that I no longer support, um, my palettes to use list has gotten smaller. Um, I will be working with palettes 36 and 37 today, which is the Morbicorn palette and the Crystal Zodiac. Both of these are from BH Cosmetics. I'll show you those colors in a little bit. But I am decluttering two palettes already, um, and I've already pulled all the Jeffree Star Cosmetics palettes out of my collection, um, except for the two that I am keeping. Um, I still have the Blood Sugar palette to use, but I will probably use it with another palette and just not tell you what shades I'm using in Blood Sugar because I don't want to promote him anymore. Um, so I'm going to be selling this on Depop and I did drop it. So there's a couple of broken shades in here that I've repressed. And then this one, last time I did a video, I dropped it and the electric shade crumbled, but it's a multi-chrome. So it picked back up the brush. I will make sure I wash, but um, I have all the original packaging for this. I will also be selling the ABH subculture palette. So both of these will be moving out of my collection. Um, at the end of this series for my May 2020 challenge, even though it's the end of June right now. Um, I will be doing a like wrap up talking about each palette. Um, I've had people ask me to like rank my palettes or what my favorites are. I don't really have like a favorite, favorite palette. Um, I have palettes I like more than others. Some, it depends on what moon I'm in or what color I'm looking for, depending on what I like. So, um, there's that, uh, quick update. So I'm going to be using this palette here, which is like neutral with like three pops of color. And then this one is rather colorful. So um, let me hold them up together. So we have purples and uh, green shades, pink shades that are similar, and then some neutrals. So I will probably incorporate neutrals and pops of color with the looks that I do. And um, I'm going to try and only use three brushes. So I have a dual ended synthetic brush here that's got like an angled one on one side and a flat one on the other. My blending brush, Glamour Dolls, and then my Luxie flat definer for like lower lash line stuff. And this fell in the sink a little bit ago. Oh, it is soaking wet. So, um, let me get a different brush because this one's wet. I just washed my hands and the brush fell in the sink. Okay. Wet and wild grease brush. One of my favorites. It's like 87 cents or 89 cents. You can buy this on Wet and Wild's website. You can buy it at Target. Uh, occasionally Walmart has them and uh, you can get these on Amazon. So I think sometimes you can even get them for like 81 cents on Amazon. It's a bonus. I think that is, yeah, I've got everything. I even put mascara on waiting on the damn air to kick off and it hasn't yet. So whatever. I'm testing out a new lip from Wet n Wild. I am not too keen on the color. So I mixed a gloss in with it and it kind of changed it a coral color, which is fine. Uh, brows are uh, Wet n Wild. Blush is Dome Beauty in English Rose. English Rose. This is a black owned brand. Um, highlighter is a combination of the Color Green No Flash Needed black owned uh, brand and Over Cosmetics in Covent Garden. This is uh, Hispanic. So, mascara is Maybelline Great Lash. I didn't even do bronzer. So, um, I think for the first eye, I'm going to go into fodder. I don't really do like talky videos much lately because the air has been running more and more. But with everything that's going on, there's all kinds of stuff going on on Twitter, Instagram. I've even seen some stuff um, in a group I'm on on Facebook. I'm literally only in like two makeup groups on Facebook and they're run by YouTubers. So, um, and no, it's not Jim Lowe's Reviews uh, Facebook group because I was a uh, mod in that channel or in that group and I saw way too much stuff. I saw how the mods and admins talked about about their members and all the garbage that goes on behind the scenes and how Jen um, hardly if ever comes in the group. Uh, she only has the group because people wanted it and then the people in the group are quite nasty. So I'm no longer in that group. When she fired me from her Sunday show, they kicked me out as a mod as well. So. So just an update on the science serum stuff. I did miss a day. I missed Saturday, but I made up for it on Sunday. Um, and I'm just going to color switch this and use another shade on the other eye while I have this brush out. 
I'm gonna go into the tiger's eye, like orangey color mat here on the other eye. Um, so Saturday, I had a lot of stuff going on. I've had a lot of stuff going on lately, period anyways. My dad hasn't been the nicest of people. Uh, he said some pretty nasty things to me lately and I'm just kind of over it, but I can't do anything about it. So I put up and shut up because I have nowhere else to go. Um, I made Father's Day dinner yesterday and so I didn't have to sit and eat with him. I invited two of my friends over, one of, one of which is also a father. They're both trans women. So, I mean, Nadine was a father before she transitioned. So I still consider her a father. Just like my mom, Donna, is technically a father and mother. Cause she has a child from when she was Douglas and she has me from now that she's done it. So she fits both roles amazingly. So there's that stuff going on. And then all this stuff with Jeffree Star, Jeffree Star Cosmetics, people that are talking out about brands like the Beauty Bakery incident, um, where it's a black owned brand and they treat their black employees like pond scum. Um, I made a comment on a group post in Samantha March's uh, Facebook group and somebody was talking about Beauty Bakery and I said, do your research before you buy from a brand. And they're like, well, what's that supposed to mean? I'm like, it, it means exactly what I said. Do your research on brands before you buy from them. And I'm finding that, um, after the bad experience that I had with an indie brand, I need to do that more myself. So preach to the choir here. I think I want to go into this honey boo boo shade on like the inner part of this lid. I'll figure out the other eye here in a minute. Um, so there's that that came to light. There is the ABH stuff that came to light about them not uh, paying the black influencers that they had working for them or requesting um, them to do work for less money which I think is garbage. Um, the Shane Dawson stuff, more stuff is coming to light. And I didn't watch him back in his early days when he was doing blackface and using a hard R N word. I don't care which way you say it with a, with an A or an E R. Um, it still means the same thing. And I don't even think black people should use it. I think it's very derogatory. And to be honest, I don't care what color you are. I don't think you need to be saying that word. What the hell else do I want to do? I, th I think I'm going to be weird. I'm going to go into this jade shade next. And I'm using this brush dry. We'll, we'll see what I want to do at the end. Um, so that's just my opinion on that. Uh, there's a lot of stuff going on with like the Black Lives Matter movement and some of the protesters being targeted uh, by these stupid militia people that I think, I, I don't know about you guys, but we have concealed weapon permits, right? People that have to apply for a specific license in order to carry a firearm in public. You have to take a class and then you have to take a test and then you have to be certified and fingerprinted and all that kind of fun stuff to be um, a concealed weapons person. So what I'm not understanding is how these people are walking around in broad daylight with firearms, exposed firearms, not like hidden firearms, but walking around in public with their firearms. I just, I, I don't understand it. I don't understand how, ooh, well, they were still green on the brush, so uh, I'll, I'll go with that. I got green up here. Let me color switch that and go back in. I'm using that Honey Boo Boo shade. Um, so I, I don't understand how they can legally get away with that. I also don't understand how these people are walking into government buildings with firearms because you can't even walk into the courthouse with a pen knife. Um, and these people are walking into full-on government buildings with, with open weapons. I think I'm going to go into the smoky quartz shade in this palette, which is like a greenish gray. But it's chunky too. Uh, so I, I don't understand how they're legally getting away with some of the stuff that they're doing. Right now, it makes no sense to me how they're able to do it and not be arrested. Um, the cops that are attacking protesters, shooting people with inappropriate types of ballistas um, should be fired. People that are harassing peaceful protesters should be arrested, in my opinion. 
I don't think that a lot of that stuff that's going on is helping anything. I think it's making things worse. And I think that, you know, th they're trying to get their point across and the cops are just proving everybody's point by um, targeting specifically black people. And then they were, uh, there were Caucasian people that were getting in the middle of things, trying to be like a white shield for these protesters. And now they're being targeted as well. So I think that all of the stuff that's going on here in the United States is awful and it needs to freaking stop. And until we get the head ass hat out of the office, I think this stuff is just going to continue to get worse. And I don't think there's, there's any helping the situation at all. As long as he's in office, this stuff is going to continue to happen because he preached racism as his platform. And I don't agree with anything that he has to say. I don't think he's done any good for the country. I think he's done nothing but make make all the racists come out of the woodwork and you know the bad part about it is is people like him and they support him and now we've got all these cosmetic brands and the cosmetic company owners coming out of the woodwork um doing everything but saying we love trump and it's very apparent to me that that's the kind of people that they were all along and i'm not going to support them anymore so the more information I find out about certain brands, the more it makes me want to distance myself from them and not buy from them, not talk about them, not support them, not um, like to the point where I'm not going to delete my videos on my Jeffree Star palettes. But if I do, you know, the, the two palettes that I do have that I kept for a couple of reasons um, and in my wrap up video, I will get into those. I, you know, I won't. I won't be promoting them on my channel for many reasons. And it's more or less, you know, who do you want to be? What kind of person would you like to be? Do you want to be somebody who just sat there and let this stuff go by the wayside? Or do you want to be somebody that did something about it? I'd rather be the latter of those two. I'm going to go into this black shade here called Breakdown with the angled part of this brush and put this right up next to my lash line. Oh, you are chunky and fall out and oh my God. So I'm going to be making sure my money reflects my values from now on. Um, I think everybody should be treated equally. I don't think that we should be segregating people. Um, I don't, like if you guys notice, I try not to use the word black person. I try and use the, the term tan because to me, everybody, everybody that's darker than me is tan, okay? Um, I don't think that we need to refer to people by their skin color. I don't think that's right. And I think that we need to take a hard look at how we refer to people, how we talk about people, you know, and it, it could be what's causing a lot of the problems is the fact that, you know, we, we constantly use the term black or person of color or, um, God, when I was a kid, the word Negro was a, a term that was used to denote somebody of a, a darker complexion. And I don't like that word either. I don't think any of that stuff is appropriate. And I, I'm hoping that this ma this movement can help that. And maybe we can stop looking at stuff like wartime days and maybe make a bit of a difference in how people are categorized. Um, we're all people, we're all one race. We all have different cultures and different skin colors. And I think that we need to remember that diversity is what makes us different, yes. But it also shapes who we are and our perspective on things and especially events that we've gone through in our lives. And you can have one person that is my skin color and one person that's a darker skin color, all living in the same house, being raised the same, being, you know, going through the same experiences. And we could have two different perspectives on things um, in the world, just based by what society does, how society treats one person versus another. And I think that I'm going into this red night matte shade for the other eye. It's darker than the fodder shade I first used. I think that until we realize that there is a problem with how society views things, none of this stuff is going to change or get any better. And I'm hoping that this movement can open more eyes 
right now all it's doing is bringing the crazies out of the woodwork. It's like having a full moon on Halloween. All the nut jobs seem to come out. And then that's when you have razor blades in your candied apples and you have drugs in your pixie sticks. And I mean, that's, that's how I feel right now. All these people coming out and saying, I'm going to teach my children to hate somebody because they're a different complexion. I don't think that's right. And I don't like it at all. I'm going to use the rose quartz matte shade in here. It's a really light one up here um, for my brow bone. And I, I think until we realize that, think about it this way. If you were blind, you couldn't see anything. Couldn't, couldn't see what somebody looked like. Couldn't see what their skin color is. Um, didn't have somebody tell you what the color of the person was that you were talking to. Would you be able to tell the difference between me and somebody darker than me, honestly? I mean, yeah, I'm sure light refraction is going to show that the skin color is different from one to the other. And I know that usually people of retainer complexion have a very rich, deep vibrato in their voice. But I've also had voice training. So I can hear, even with my eyes closed, a room full of people and can tell you who is tan and who isn't just by how they sound because of the richness of their voice, because of the uh, and it's not even how they speak or what they say. It's the the sounds that they make when they speak. It's really rich and has an a interesting depth to it that allows you to hear um, subtle differences between the way a Caucasian person speaks and, and the way they speak. And especially when they sing, you can you can hear the depth, the tone, um, the, the richness of how they they sing. This. You know, you can have two people singing the exact same song, the exact same way, hitting the notes the exact same way, using the right intonations and uh, pitches and everything. But you can always tell who's what by listening to them sing due to the difference in their voice. Um, that's the only way that I personally would be able to tell the difference between one person and the other. And it, it, I mean, I know white people that speak like they're, they're tan. So... That I'm not talking about verbiage or the way they speak. Uh, I'm talking about the, the sound that their vocal cords make, the different depths and, uh, I don't know, I guess you could call it like a personality of their, their voice that gives them such a richness to it that when you hear them speak, it's just kind of like a kind of moment, or at least it is for me. Um, so, I don't know. I, I kind of got off on a tangent there. I forgot I was doing my makeup. I don't know what the hell I want to do with this eye. I guess I'll use the Rose Quartz Shimmer Shade on the inner part of my eye, which is this one here. Here, this this light one here. And then I think I'm gonna mix Amber and Amethyst, which is like a yellowish gray color in this dark purple. And then I'll go from there. Um, I don't know, I, I guess because of what I've experienced in my life, who my friends are, how I grew up, I guess has changed the way I see people, and in my opinion, it's for the better. But I don't, when I talk to somebody, I don't talk to them and base my entire conversation around their skin color. Because, you know, I've talked to people before and then I find out, like I was talking to this guy, Miles, he's a friend of, through a friend, and he posted this really cute monkey picture and he said, who's cuter, me or the monkey? And it wasn't, a, of course, a picture of him. It was a picture of a black guy and a monkey. And I was like, well, uh, it's not cool that you're comparing a person to an animal, number one. And number two, technically, the monkey's cuter because, you know, the other guy was making some doofus-looking face. So he didn't like my comment. He sent me a direct message. And he was like, you don't like the way I look? I said, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that I think the monkey's cuter. I said, I don't think it's appropriate for you to be comparing a, a black man to a monkey. He goes, oh, I wasn't comparing a black man to a monkey. I said, well, the post kind of looks like you are. And I said, I don't think it's appropriate. And he wanted to argue with me about it. And I said, it ain't cool. You should not compare people to animals. And then after about 10 minutes of arguing with him, he goes, well, you do realize I'm black, right? I said, that doesn't make it right. And he was like, what? I was like, and two, I didn't know you were black. And it doesn't really matter either way. What you said was wrong. And he, he sent me a picture of himself. And I said, still don't care that you're black. Comparing a, a person to an animal is not cool. And he says, well, I didn't realize that you would feel that strongly. I said, well, then you must not know me very well. Been following my posts and following my profile for months now, and you don't think that 
I would say something against what you posted. He said, I'm still offended you don't think I'm cute. I said, well, you just sent me a picture of yourself, so I know for a fact that I ain't you in the picture, so why are you still butt hurt? But I honestly had no idea that he was black, and that, like I've, I've said before, it doesn't matter to me. It could be purple for all I care. Now, see, then I might be attracted to him if he was purple. I like purple. Oh, the ear finally shut off. I'm so used to it running, I, I, I didn't even pay attention that it had shut off. I don't know. I just, I guess because I think about things a little bit differently than some people. Some things bother me that might not bother other people. And again, I'm going to reiterate, I do not think people should refer to other people as animals. I mean, yes, we're mammals. Whatever. But I'm talking like four-legged creatures or, you know, undomesticated primates should not be compared to people and vice versa. Not cool. No, unless you're talking about a bunch of kids playing on the playground in the jungle gym, then yeah, you could say, oh, look at those monkeys going over there. Because I tell you what, you get me on one of those dumb jungle gym things, I'm going to look like a monkey. I'll be halfway upside down with one leg looped through one and my arm going to the other one and me trying to get my, my other leg up and my arms flailing because I've lost my Lost my grip because your hands get sweaty climbing on those. I had a I used to love playing on the monkey bars and jungle gyms when I was a kid. Oh my kid, I still like playing on them. I think I'm gonna just take that amber shade again, just in the center. Kind of make it look like the rose quartz blends into the amethyst shade there. It's kind of silver, whereas the rose quartz shade is kind of like and because there's this purple here I'm going to use this brush and go right up above my lash line with it so anyways I'm going to try and support more indie brands um, and I will be buying things as I go when I sell things on Depop I mean I have other bills that I need to put money aside for like the camera that I'm using, I need to get that paid off. There's the hair again. And I want to put money aside so I can buy another science serum. Bright and tight because I really am liking the results that I'm getting from that. And it's quite pricey. And they do sales all the time. They just did a 30% off sale site wide um, for Father's Day on purchases over $119, which that. Uh, bright and tight is like $78, so you need that and something else in order to get up to that price. So, um, I do want to try the tight eyes. I also want the moisture eyes and see how I do with those. And I think the tight eyes is very similar to the bright and tight, so I could probably do one in the morning and one at night. But I'm going to hold off. On buying those, well, number one, I ain't got money for right now because those are like sixty plus dollars a piece. But um, I'm gonna hold off on buying those, even if I do get the money, because I want to see where I'm at in thirty days with that product, and I'm about two weeks and some change in so far using it, and I'm enjoying the results. Just like I'm loving these eyelashes. This one over here, the dark is a little too too high for my taste. Let me see if I can grab that tiger's eye shade again. I'm trying to blend some of that out. It's kind of looking a little dirty over here. But I would like to get some other other products and I don't know how long that thing is going to last me doing a pump and a half a day. And granted I have missed a day. And when I first used it I did use two pumps. It's just gonna end up being dark there, ain't it? And now that I've blended it again, I need to put my green back. I'm just using my finger. I've been recording so long, the damn camera shut off. I'm done now, anyways. Um, 
I, all I did was touch up all three of the shades on this lid and that's it. So this is the finished two looks. I'm going to zoom you guys in. And people ask sometimes about jewelry. Um, these were actually, these are like vintage mother of pearl earrings somebody gave me. And they're making my ear itch because I haven't worn earrings in that in that hole in a while. And then the necklace is a 2.7 millimeter heart length chain with a 10 karat white gold butterfly pendant. The chain itself is a bunch of little hearts. And then of course you've got the pendant. The necklace I made myself, and I even have a heart link or a heart shaped lobster claw on it. Kind of a pain in the ass to stick on. You know, when you go to put it on, it's kind of a pain in the butt. But I like it. I like the chain. Um, I also have, um, it looks like a pretzel type heart. I have that design chain too. I think this one's a 17 inch. 17 and a half inch. I think I've got a 20 inch. 24 inch in the 2.7 millimeter. I also have a 3.9 millimeter heart link and a 1.7, 1.8 millimeter. Anyways, website link down below if you want to look for heart design stuff. Just go to my website and type in heart, you'll get all kinds of stuff. Um, but I didn't even use this brush, so I'll put it back in the side. I only used two airbrushes. But I don't know, I guess my, my views on things could be considered controversial and I honestly don't care. If, if you are a crap person, you're a crap person. If you think all the stuff that's going on in the world right now is okay, then why are you even on my channel? I mean, honestly. Um, I don't have much of a voice on this platform, but I will continue to use what voice I do have to spread um, a message of acceptance and positivity and you know, we need to be more accepting with people of different everythings because you never know who's going to teach you what. I have learned so many things through my almost 40 years on this planet that some other people might not know or would have never thought to teach or to learn. And when I was a kid, I used to love spending time with people that were 60, 70, 80 years old, just asking them, what was it like when you grew up? Where did you grow up? How did you grow up? Um, I, I did a book report in fourth grade on the Great Depression, and it wasn't really a book report. I interviewed people that grew up in the Great Depression and asked them where they lived, how they lived, the ones that lived in the city, what was it like? Um, what, what did they eat? How did they eat? Did they have the food coupons? Which I actually, as a stamp collector, have some of the original food coupons from back in the day. Um, it was interesting to see how drastic the differences was uh, between living in the city in the same state versus living in the country in the same state. The two, two of the guys that I interviewed from the Backpipe Band were both from New York. One was a city boy and one was a country boy. And it was amazing to see the differences in the fact that they were born in the same year. They were just a couple of part, uh, months apart in age. They lived like 50 miles from each other, but their upbringing was so different. And the impact of the Great Depression was so different on them personally. It was, it was interesting to learn about. I'm that kind of person. I like learning new things. I like exploring things. I love having an open mind. And I kind of wish everybody else was a little, just a little bit more like me in the sense that we are all people. We all should be accepted for who we are, not based on our race. Again, I hate that word, religion, culture, where we were born, what our age is, what our skin color looks like. That shit shouldn't matter. What matters is what's in here and what's in here. And until people start using this to see this, nothing's going to change. So, uh, have done a chatty. Get ready with me in a while. So, enjoy. See you guys later. Tomorrow's video. Bye.